This classic Yamaha two-stroke RD350. Let's bring it for a ride and then we'll go inside and I'll tell you all about it. Look at it. Thing's freaking beautiful. Super rare original paint survivor. This is a 1975 RD 350. I had one of these when I was 16 years old. Actually, 15. Uh, and it had it uh, into my later teens. Had a blast on it. Um, I was riding this in the street before I got my driver's license. And uh, up until my, my later teen years. And then I got an RD 400. And uh, up until the 90s, I was, I was driving that all the time. And just a fantastic motorcycle six speed two cylinder two stroke reed valve motor um lightweight these are raced at daytona and all over all over the world on the race circuit um excellent brakes excellent handling lightweight reliable uh, this one has 10,125 miles on it um it's uh Original paint, clean, low miles. This is the original seat on it, which is remarkable. This has always been a, a tough thing when we restore our RDs and find a seat and to find them with an original factory seat that looks this good and original paint chrome is uh, extremely difficult. We went right through the whole bike. The tank was, was removed. Uh, bicarbonate sodium blasted on the inside and then the uh, rust treatment on the inside of the tank was done. Then the inside of the tank was coated. Uh, new fuel, Petcock, as you can see, was mounted on here. New fuel lines, the cars were removed, cleaned, rebuilt, repainted, uh, rejetted. New air filters, new spark plugs. The, the um, gear oil was changed. The entire bike was gone through. I've got a work order inside. I don't remember all of it off the top of my head, but everything works on the bike. Uh, I'll go over the work order and I'll write it up in the eBay ad. The uh, front tire, as you can see, is brand new. If you zoom in on this, you can see it's still got the hairy nubs on it. Brand new front tire and tube. The uh, complete, the front brake system, the entire front brake system is new. Um, it, it's a new uh, caliper right here. A um, uh, little dusty, but um, it was down in the shop. But brand, brand new caliper, brand new pads, brand new brake line. Uh, and this master cylinder you, hear, you see here is brand new also. So the entire front brake system is basically not basically it is it is brand new uh the rear brake system was dismantled clean and reassembled um brake pads were deglazed and the wheel bearings greased and you can see it's got a brand new rear tire on it same as the front 
and it's just an absolutely stunning survivor 50 year old classic six speed two stroke oil injected the uh oil injection cables were, were uh replaced along with the oil uh ejection uh, the oil injection system was cleaned adjusted and fresh oil put in the oil injection tank so everything works as it's supposed to and it runs beautifully if you have any questions about it give us a call uh, we'll go inside and go over the work order, bringing it in the museum where it's going to be on display. So there's a center center stand and a side stand. Uh, has the passenger pegs. It's far, near as I can tell, damn near close to 100% original and uh, excellent condition. One of the things I like to show is underneath the seat too. Um, that's a hallmark of the condition on the bike. And underneath the seat is in remarkably good condition. It does have a brand new battery in there also. Forgot to mention that. That's why I want to read the work order. I always forget half of what we did, but I know they put quite a, quite a bit of time and effort into detailing the bike, cleaning it, and uh, servicing it, and getting it 100%. So these are super reliable bikes, very easy to work on. They're two strokes, so uh, any decent mechanic can rebuild the top end on them. It's not like a, a four stroke that has a, a cam chain and valves and, and uh, camshafts and all kinds of moving parts. It's a very simple machine, um, one of the best engines ever made uh, the epa outlawed them uh, on the street and starting in california the california air resource board outlawed them but um there's and there's not a lot of these left on the road that are this nice if you look take a look at the headlight ears here uh on both sides are in good condition that's original paint the headlight buckets in good condition the front fender is um usually usually the front fenders are, are uh you know long gone and beaten up and, and dented up this one's a, a, in good good original condition as are the fork lowers the chrome on the wheels just a remarkably good condition for an almost 50 year old motorcycle it's 48 years old so uh, let me just tell you mine the one i rode into the ground is long gone uh mine had 25,000 miles on it in, in, back in the in the uh in the 80s so that one's in a bone yard somewhere uh to find one this mint and this original that's been completely sorted out. Well, they're few and far between, so bid high and bid often. And call us with any questions. I'll meet you inside. We'll go over the work order. The motor sounds extremely tight. It's 140 psi compression. There's no piston rattle or anything. It starts first kick. It's carbonated perfectly. It runs like a brand new motor, so it runs better than mine did 40 years ago. electrically a 10, mechanically a 10, and cosmetically a solid 8 or 9. And for an original bike, that's absolutely freaking remarkable, especially one like this, which were so well loved by young men and women that uh, they were mostly ridden into the ground um, and just, you know, wore out from, from years of use. To find one that's this tight, we, we've had a lot of these. I've owned them personally, a lot of them, and we sold quite a few rd 3 and 400s that we've restored or bought restored. This one feels rock solid. The wheel bearings, the, the um, front end bearings, everything feels super tight. As you'd expect, a 10,000 mile original has just been sorted through the field. Before I, before I forget, uh, before I go to the work order, I want to tell you a funny story. When, when I, was, I was prospecting for a uh, uh, motorcycle club, a 1% MC, and it was an all bike club. They had but mostly Harleys. Most of the guys rode Harleys, and uh, but they allowed you to prospect with a Japanese bike in hopes that if, if you did become a full patch brother and earn your colors that you would, uh, you know, buy Harley. So it was 19, let's see, it was 1991. I was prospecting for them and uh, shit, that was a long time ago. And I was riding an RD 350, just like this one right here. And they would make me ride all the way at the back of the pack because it smoked too much. Plus, I was prospecting, and they and my road name at that time was Smokey. So, and I ended up buying a Harley Davidson. I bought an '87 Harley Davidson Lowrider. 
because I wanted to, you know, something that was fit in more with, with that, with that, with the club and the, and the other bikes. So, because they were all, all most of them on Harleys, and uh, they changed my road name to 2001, which ended up becoming my road name was when I became a full patch brother, and uh, that that name stuck to this day. I see, I see some of the guys I was long since retired from the club back in the 90s, and uh, it. Uh, <clears throat> It, it sticks, you know, they, they st the, the guys in the club that remember me from then still call me 2001, but, um, and the reason they called me 2001 because there's a prospect that used to get in trouble all the time, and it was 91 when I was prospecting, and they were like, you're gonna be a prospect till, till 2001, which is 10 years, so, funny story. Anyways, back to the bike. Um, extensive work order on the bike. It's Yamaha's iconic two-stroke twin cylinder street bike, air-cooled, reed valve induction. Fully developed 350 twin, direct descendant of Yamaha's world championship winning road, road racing motorcycles with unmatched handling and performance for the time. Super reliable, the product of years of development. It's an out of the box race winner, uh, wheeling machine in a well rounded design. Very easy to ride, very versatile, great for trekking around town. Six speed, two stroke road, road racer, basically. This is a super rare stock and original low mile survivor, a true classic. Uh, again, the uh, Engine compression is 140 PSI, has two new spark plugs, a new battery, the tank was cleaned and restored, Caswell sealed, new fuel, Petcox, new fuel, and oil lines. Uh, it has VP94 octane, non-ethanol fuel, carbs completely removed, disassembled and clean, um, and tuned, air box clean, new filters, oil injection pump was serviced and bled, uh, adjusted the oil pump cables and throttle cables, uh, new gear oil. 100% all the lights work. Uh, again, the whole brake system on the front's new. Uh, I think I pretty much covered everything by memory. And it was given a full rotisserie detail, it's top to bottom, steam clean, hand wash, all the chrome and aluminum was polished on the bike. Um, the paint was, was Carnuba um, waxed and, and, and uh, it's in outstanding condition. The work order, total work order was um, 30.25 hours plus parts and it came to $4,820 for the work order, uh, parts and labor. So uh, almost just under $5,000 invested into it, getting it into, um, well, it's, I'm gonna be on display here in the New England Motorcycle Museum on the second floor below us here, because uh, it's truly a museum quality classic in original condition. So if you've been looking for an RD, you want an investment quality two-stroke that's going up in value day, yearly, if not daily, well, the ship just came in. This is a super nice one. I've owned a bunch of these. This is about as good as they get, unless you're talking about a new one in a crate. That's about the only way you'll get a nicer one. Uh, this one runs perfectly, and everything works beautifully. Anyways, thanks for uh, sticking with me this long. If you have, please, please hit the like and subscribe. I've got lots of more cool classic bikes I'll be sharing with you guys. If you want to bid on this one, we do offer financing through Freedom Road, so we can finance the bike for you and ship it for you anywhere in the country. Rest assured, this is a rock solid classic kick ass bike. Thanks for watching, and God bless America. Here, Hawk Shakes Creek.